We gon' own this shit. We got it. We gon' own this shit. So this in no way is this like a professional, high quality makeup tutorial because I'm not even that person. But I mean, one day if the tables turn, Katrina, you know, I don't know something. I don't know. But yeah, so we, I wanted to talk about two. 2018 goals like or just like 2018 like hustle 2018 like grind because 2018 is a whole nother type of year for me like okay but 2018 is like a year where i want to be instead of talking about things i, I want to do i want to be actually like implementing them i'm gonna be actually like doing the things i say i want to do instead of always putting myself down and saying oh i can't afford it right now or i'll do it at a later time or i don't know maybe i don't know but everybody who i just felt like was making me not be the person that i wanted to be was making me sad was making me you know go through things making me stress out breaking out losing weight and i'm already little so making me lose weight having me you know down bad i was like these people i just don't want them in my life no more and I just want all positive energy coming in in 2018 because I know posit positivity leads to positivity. Like I want, I just, I just want like everything, everybody around me to be positive, to be motivational, to know what they want to do. So, so they're not mad. But I was really just struggling to do my makeup because I couldn't find this box. Like this box holds the key, the secret ingredient. I like back to what we was talking about these people and your energy okay so i honestly be sounding like a hippie most times because i say honestly you have to have your energy right like you have to like not even like you know how people are like religious about like energies like that's what they believe like i don't know i'm a i'm a christian but i don't know i don't know who i don't know but i just feel like even when i go to church like i see how it all like circles around because me and my pastor, we talk, he says, um, you know, people who have, have, like, no goals, they don't have nothing they want to do, they work in a minimum, minimum wage job, uh, basically, um, housing through whatever, they don't have no aspirations, no goals in life, they just want to chill, sit around, they don't know what they want to do, they don't know what they want to be, and they see you, they see you out here trying, they see you reaching your goals, they see you doing what you say, you're talking about those people, they're not really happy for you, these are people that surround you, that's really just trying to bring you down, like, when you say, oh, I want to, you know, I want to go have a photo shoot, they say, oh girl, you know, how you going to afford a photo shoot, you know what I'm saying? Like, because they know that, oh, I know I can't go out here and, you know, get nothing done for myself. So, I'm going to just, you know, be this person or I'm going to be trying. Basically, I feel like people try and hold you back because they're scared for you to reach your goals. They're scared for you to be out here actually doing what you say you want to do. They're scared for you to be actually riding around that Bentley truck. They're scared to see you out here hurting people. Like, they're scared. They don't know what to do. They're shook. So they want you to not do that. They want you to come join them at McDonald's. Like they want you to uh, help them out at work. You know what I'm saying? Like and people like that. People, those people who always decide I or girl, I don't know. Those people, you got to let them go. Like they just can't be around. People who, oh, because you're doing this, you're doing that. You don't ever do this for me. You don't ever do that for me. You don't show up here for me. Or you not spending no money on me. Like, sweetheart, like, that's not my, that's not something I could see myself doing, you know. Like, I'm out here trying to, you know, live my best life, which you should be doing too. Like, everybody out here should be trying to go and reach their goals and live the best life that they want to live. Live that life that they said when they was little. They said, oh, I want to be a da-da-da-da. You go be that and you don't listen to what nobody say like you don't you don't feel no way you don't you don't you just don't associate yourself with those people no more you know what I'm saying like people like that let them go you just got let go for real like 
if y'all not from, if y'all not from Atlanta, y'all if you're from Atlanta, you know you just got let go, like for real. For 2018, I wanted to be like a whole another mindset for Katrina, you know. I wanted to be super motivated. I was listening to this uh audio audio book on um youtube because i'm cheap and i'm not gonna pay no subscription but um this audio book called mastery and it's like it's really it's really like making me feel some type of way because i really feel like it's hitting it's hitting home because i was saying you know basically he's saying you know how when you're in school basically and say it's getting to the end of the semester and you know, oh, grades finna go in, report cards finna come out. We got four weeks, we got five weeks. So you go, you do this project, you do this, you turn this in, you get this done, you're doing this, doing this, doing that. And you know that you want to A by the end of the semester. You know that you trying to, you know that if your mama see that report card and you got an F, you getting that ass teared up. You know that you finna get this A. So you finna do all the work possible to get an A plus, you know what I'm saying? So, but after you get an A, after your report card come out, back to lazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to worry about it, because you know, you got, what, what, 18 weeks before you got to check, I don't know how, I don't know, nine weeks, I don't know, however many more weeks before you got to check that grade. So you, you're straight right now. And that's how people are in life. Like, he's saying you can't be like that. You got to have, like, once you, you could probably, say you want to be a model. And you get on the cover and you blow up and then you're you're good and then you stop because you're good now you think you're good now you just stop like mastery is you keep going you say this is not good enough for me like I know that I want to be here I know I want to be <coughs> up there I want I'm trying to reach those levels so I'm not gonna just every time I reach a checkpoint I'm gonna just stop and I'm gonna just say oh I got, I could, I could rest now, oh, I'm doing good now, no, like, no, and, I don't know, I'm just so, like, even when I talk to my cousins, everybody's like, I'm like a, like a hippie, really, because I just be feeling, I just be feeling so strong, <laughs> and I know, when I turn 21, I know that I'm really going to be able to be able to like put myself out there to be able to put myself in sense like in situations that I couldn't get to when I was younger or that I couldn't afford or that I couldn't you know do this or do that and um I just really 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 want to work at it I want to stop saying oh this is what I want to do I want to see every day like oh Katrina this is what you got done you got this 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 done today you caught this person this person this person you work with this company you did this you took this picture you're looking good you're doing good next day keep it going let's get this on the road like that's how that's how I'm trying to have it to be that's why I want to work so hard I want to do so well I want to go so hard I feel like I sound so crazy but that's how I feel about my life or my 2018 that's how i'm trying to have 2018 going because every year you say oh my new year's resolution is i wanna i wanna stop drinking i guess i don't know or maybe i wanna lose weight i wanna eat better i wanna whatever my new year's resolution is i wanna go harder like i wanna i wanna put myself out there like <clears throat> my first goal well I want to I'm trying to reach what 10k on Instagram so if you don't follow me on Instagram follow me on Instagram at trilla.trina cuz trilla trina was taken by a page that has two followers so yeah so follow me on Instagram at Trilla Trina. Uh, probably new photos coming soon. Definitely new video coming soon. It's just, I don't say you know just a lot of for it. But yeah, and I'm just trying to. I basically want to be bad bitch or bad bitch mentality. Not necessarily like you know you see somebody on Instagram and you're a bad bitch like because I obviously don't have the 
necessities uh which is a you know you know and i don't have it but what i do have is a winning personality <laughs> no for real but yeah so i really feel like i've been sitting right here talking running my mouth with y'all for so long y'all probably like she haven't done nothing like she's really just sitting right here talking but in real life i don't be doing nothing with my makeup for real like i like my makeup to look honestly as minimal as possible so i don't like to do all that it's my blush because i'm lazy sunglass haul yeah i'm gonna shoot that to right after this basically so i'm having the same outfit i'm probably just look better because my makeup gonna be finished and yeah so if y'all if y'all feeling how i'm feeling about 2018 and y'all know that 2018 is gonna be this year for y'all and y'all know you know how everybody was like 2017 i wasn't really feeling 2017 like 2017 yeah it was a good year it was 2017 like it was good i guess but 2018 i just feel like it's full of so it's full of so many opportunities it's full with like i don't know or maybe it's just my mentality towards things have changed because 2017 was a really really like it was like a really really bad year for me like and i don't even wanna i'm not gonna you know get into it like that but it was like a really really bad bad year for me and i i was i went through a lot and i made it out and now I'm inspired. I have things I want to do. I have aspirations. I have things I'm trying to accomplish. I have friends. I have so much. I have I'm, I have a good job. I got a promotion at my job. I'm doing well. I'm making my money how I'm how I want to. I'm able I'm starting to be able to afford the things that I want. I'm truly happy. And I can't even say that necessarily I wasn't able to in 2017. It was me being more of a people pleaser, I guess, or me being more of like a I was I'm I'm a nice person, so I always I'm always trying to help everybody. I'm always trying to do do everything for everybody basically. And I saw like in 2017 I'm I'm constantly being that person doing being that person for everybody, but nobody's being that person for me, you know? Like my best friend, I love her. Like she's she's that person for me. But like everybody else is like way, way, way more stuck on their sales and not really worried about everybody else. And I care that everybody does well. I care that I'm I'm worried about not everybody, but people who are I'm close to. I'm worried about how you're doing. I'm worried about how you're feeling. I'm worried about basically how you're sustaining i'm worried about you know because i'm a good friend and i'm a nice person you know what i'm saying but nobody nobody cares nobody does that for you like me sitting crying because i'm just so just i'm emotional plus if i'm overwhelmed i, I just it was just so much and i was so sad so often in 2017 and i was so like depressed and I was feeling like nobody was there for me I'm like I don't have my best friend no more because my best friend was, is is a boy and he got like a wife or whatever now so we don't be talking so what we talking about not for real so it's like I was just like it's so much going on and I'm just feeling like nobody's there for me nobody does this for me nobody is you know being my person and I want I need me a person look y'all my brush was right here the whole time 
In 2018, I'm way, 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 way more focused on me being my best self. Honestly, I'm more focused on me going to school, doing well in school. I'm more focused on me being happy. I'm, I'm more focused on me. And I feel like it comes a point where you have to be like that. You know how people will tell you, oh no, you know, you're not supposed to be uh, self-centered. You're not supposed to be, uh, basically, you're not supposed to always just think about yourself. But if you think about it, how many people are thinking about you? Like, no, every, every person... When they have stuff going on, the first person to think about is their self. If you have something going on, they're going to think, oh, can I help you? They're thinking about their self. You know, like, everybody is self first. Like, every person, they they want they want what's best for their self. And then they think about everybody else. Like, everybody else. And when people say, don't be selfish or don't be self-centered, that's, honestly, a lot of people are like that. Everybody... <laughs> Not necessarily like, oh, I can't. Or they're just thinking like, oh, if I do this, will I be able to, you know, be able to do this for myself later down, later along the lines? Or will I be able to, you know, be able to afford this later down along the lines so they won't do it for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like me, I'm like, Oh, my girl or my best or this nigga or whoever I'm dealing with at the time is going through this. I want to help you. Like, so I'm going to say, oh, yeah, it's all good. I can help you with this. Even though I just got paid and I really haven't even spent no money on myself. Really, I'll help you because I'm a nice person and I know I'll get it back tenfold or I know I'm getting paid again soon. So I don't have to, you know worry about it but I know that you're going through something right now so you need me or you needed me to basically like help you out of it and I be that I be that person for people you know and nobody will be that person for you like nobody is going to be that person for you unless they're like your best friend like my best friend like <laughs> and that's just how I feel like even definitely niggas definitely niggas definitely niggas like don't be dealing with everybody like you should know that anyway you can't be out here dealing with everybody but niggas you really gotta watch like you really gotta watch for real because a nigga will real life have you out here spinning every single coin you make on him every single coin she make on him every single coin his mama make on him nigga not making no bread he's living off of everybody like you know what i'm saying like you have to can't we sat here this whole time we talked about 2018 we talked about goals we talked about energy we definitely talked about energy so get yours right and every energy around you like all energies coming in everything that you see on a daily everything that's reflecting into your life get it right okay like because when you're sad it, it has a sad day when you're mad you have a mad day like even though that happened for 10 minutes it's gone you're mad but you you just take that out your day and then you don't you're not mad like it's easy and just try implementing it you know having that having more of that in 2018 having more of you you know having more of you seeing things for yourself that's going good instead of you seeing things for other people that's going good and you're looking down on yourself so def definitely don't do that definitely definitely all 2018 go hard go hard go go hard go hard go hard all 2018 don't let nobody tell you oh that's stupid why would you do that why would you why would you go hard why would you do this why would you could I don't have it in your life just have people pushing you have people motivating you read a book like you know have good 
things going, good things, good energies, good things happen. Like, you think, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all. Be more positive. Stop waking up mad at the world. Like, be happy. Like, all 2018, that's what I'm trying to be happy. Because it was so many days where I was so sad, so hurt, so wanting to give up, wanting to just, oh my god, y'all, I don't even want to have to go into that, but y'all, like, it was so many days, y'all, it was so many days, and now, for the new year, I'm saying I won't, I don't want those days anymore, I don't want those feelings anymore, I don't want to feel worthless no more i don't want to feel like the world is against me no more i don't want to feel like that no more like no longer i'm i'm all good things like i want all good things like <laughs> all nice people around me i want to take trips i want to be happy i want to be motive i want to be motivated i want to be motivational i want people to see oh she said that this is she wants to go hard and this is what she wants to accomplish and she's gonna try hard and she's actually getting things done. She's actually, you know, putting forth the effort to reach these goals. Yeah, at me, y'all. I'm so goofy. Like, if you knew me, like, when people run into me or, like, when I'm, like, <laughs> every time I'm new on a job, everybody swears I'm a bitch. Like, everybody swears. Because... I'm, I always have like a serious face, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause, I don't know. I, it don't be on purpose. That's just how my face looks sometimes. So everybody's like, oh, you're mean. Or, oh, you're mean. Oh, you don't ever talk to anybody or whatever they say. I'm like, did you my face? What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> I'm not. Y'all, <laughs> y'all cannot take me serious. But we're done here. So, without <laughs> further ado, your girl is out. Alright, but I did say, uh, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Did I say that? No. So, comment down below. Um, if you get a new iPhone, because I've really been trying to decide whether I wanted the iPhone X or the iPhone 8 Plus. So if you got the X, I mean, because I saw people who had the um X. And then when it got the 8 plus, or went back to the 7 plus, actually, like my boo, Fiera, I love her. That's my baby. I love her. She don't, she probably, she don't know me, but that's my best friend. So, um, comment down below what videos you would like to see us produce. Uh, if you stay around, you know, come back next week, you'll see me upload my sunglasses haul because i mean i haul my sunglass collection but it's basically a haul from sunglass spot so if you've ever heard of sunglass spot or ever used sunglass spot then you know what i'm talking about but thanks for sitting with me talking you know chit chatting because katrina loves to run her mouth definitely so follow me on Instagram, y'all get in contact with your girl. Like I really like I'm I really be bored, like phone dry, like nothing going on. So follow me on there and come back in what a couple days and y'all gonna see my sunglasses. Uh, why do I should should I call it a haul? Should I call it collection? Well I guess, yeah, okay. My sunglass collection. Alright y'all, y'all have a blessed day, a blessed week, a blessed month, a blessed 2018, and I'll see y'all in our next video.